getting ready to open this and let's see what's in it. So this is everything. The struts, shocks, springs. And Jeep. Here's a comparison. Um, to the right is the Monroe Sense of Track uh, rear shock heavy duty for the Jeep WK. And then here's an Omen Emu um, two inch suspension uh, rear shock. And it's a little bit taller, but. Uh, Shocks are really easy to install. The springs were a little difficult. Um, pretty tough to get in. We used chip strap in. Little sneaky tabs you have to like release. There's tape covering the bolt. Tape? Yeah. It's weird. Oh, how'd you get that? It's all about twisting it in the right direction because the things on these are directional. Oh. Kind of like a puzzle piece. You just gotta twist it. Oh, okay. Three nuts. Oops. Well, we just put that there. We put this. Back there, and then we're ready on that side. Right there. Okay. And it should not be a nut, actually. Oh, that was, that was easy. Or we could just set it right here. Oh, pff. there you go. Where is it? Uno, oh. dos, tres, cuatro. Right there. All right. And we got an air compressor to do the job with us. Uh, just broke them free, loosened them. Now I'm just making them so they're like snug. So they're not taken off loose, so we can still yeah. get them off easy because... and not be wobbly. Okay, okay. okay. Do we have to take it off all the way? No, it says do not take it off all the way. Okay. These nuts are mean. <laughs> 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 WD-40. Rust off and cleaning up the bolt, so we we won't have any more rust issues. Hope. Just wrap it around this control arm bolt right there is what I did. Okay. Daystar. Too much. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, we need to remove that. Oh! That's the way to do it. Damn. Oh, wow. Some WD forty on that. Uh, that's the okay. brake line wire. Before we remove the strut and the fork assembly, there's that brake okay. line. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Let's pop that out. Remove now. 
just unbolt the top. You can hold it. I'll get down there just in case. Because I tied something to it, so you shouldn't have to hold it. But. And went to O'Reilly's and got me uh, rented uh, spring compressors. And let's get to work. Let me discharge this. Push it down a couple times if you can. To where when it's fully installed it won't have like that instant jolt of bumpiness. Oh, working with the spring compressor, it's doing it on concrete and it's messing up like even on the concrete so if you guys want to protect your hardware do it over a towel this is a bomb right now we need to screw in and bump it in screw this nut all the way in until it you know pretty much stops all the way in This down and down because it was difficult. It's being difficult. But now we got it. Now we got it. Upper control arm. Just loosen it up a little bit. Then this is ready to be put on. Progress. <laughs> On. Just need to tighten the bolts. Washer, rubber mount, okay. plate, daystar plate. It goes in just like that. Which was followed by that washer.
loosen the air to make it fit. Now, while another person holds, we're gonna screw them. We are just re-bolting everything back on. Not, but slightly bolt it enough to where it holds, but not all. We bolt the front sway bar first. Tighten up the strut collar. Then once you do all that, um, then that's when you can re-bolt everything back together. Freshly installed Omen Emu. 